those ones are super sneaky because my dad's the type that I remember when we were having a party, he said, bring over the salads. And I brought over, back when I was younger, I brought over uh, salad greens and he meant pasta salad, potato salad, <laughs> and all the mayo salads. So he likes his white potatoes yes. and potato salad type stuff. Five of Maureen's sneak attack foods. So little preface to this, we both have, um, our parents grew up meat and potato type people, yeah. right? So there are certain types of foods, I mean, as you go through your life that you get comfortable eating and you like those foods. So having any sort of healthy options come in, they're usually like when we have our holiday dinners and stuff, there are some healthy options. And we notice that our parents may not eat from them because they're different to them. So what we want, what we like doing, what Maureen likes doing is sneaking healthy options into their meals and them not even realize that it's a healthy option instead. Yeah. So our five favorite sneak attack foods for Maureen. Okay. What's number one? Number one, because they're fresh on my mind, I just made them this morning. Um, sausages. Yeah. Breakfast sausages. Round sausages. Yep, so they look like little round sausage patties. Clearly, yep. if you look at close enough, you can tell they aren't. But yep. they're lentils. They're but when you get older, your vision goes, yeah, so and you might not be able to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can get those on past your dad, but um, they really do taste like a sausage. I think so. The, the texture is a little bit different, but they have the flavor of a sausage because of the seasoning that's in it. Right. Fennel, paprika. Fennel, paprika. What are they made of? Lentils. Yep. Um, oats. Yep. Flaxseed. Okay. And seasoning. So those are all better options than a store-bought, um, I don't know, frozen yeah. uh, sausage patty. Put some cheese on it or put it yeah. with an egg. Or we yeah. had it this morning just in a little breakfast salad. Yeah, it was great. Yep. All right, number two. Number two uh, is what the boys like to call mystery meat. <laughs> yeah, so the boys can't see this because they still don't know what it is. It's mystery meat. It's mystery meat. It tastes just like, I love it. It tastes just like ground uh, ground hamburger. Yeah, but it's Q-O-R-N and it's... Q-U-O-R-N. Where do you yep. get this? Actually, you can get it basically anywhere now. Uh, okay. It is frozen. Okay. Um, but... And it's just, it's mushrooms. Yeah, it's mushrooms. It's ground up mushrooms. So nine out of ten, ten, nine out of ten times when we have tacos, it's not ground beef. Yeah. It's humor. Sure. And now the boys will call it, we'll put it on, oh yeah, it's mystery meat. They love it. Because, <laughs> I mean, there's always the story of mystery meat at schools and stuff like that. Yeah. Right, so they, they have a good time with the mystery meat at home. They like but it. They but if they it. found out it was mushrooms, they probably wouldn't want it. So please don't tell them. Don't tell them. Um, they have another mystery meat style, which is the chickenish type one. Yeah, it's more like chunks. They really, chunks. they like that one the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it tastes like chicken. Yeah, but it's meatless <laughs> pieces as opposed to meatless grounds. Got it. Okay, number three. Number three is, um, in terms of baked goods. Yep. I just thought of one that we yep. didn't talk about. Um, there's a lot of recipes that will call for like pumpkin. Yep. Pumpkin filling or yep. whatever. Um, I make these really great well, i think they're great um bars like cold oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. they yep. look like pumpkin bars but they're sweet potato bars <laughs> yeah so instead of filling them with like the canned pumpkin yeah so which I'm is good. not as great of a option yeah. option um i use sweet potato <laughs> grind that up puree it up and create it the same way yeah teddy's yelping teddy's dreaming he's dreaming, of pumpkin he's dreaming. all right we're on four we are on four. number four and uh, something else I just found yep. is a coconut base, so a non-dairy Cool Whip. Oh, really? Yeah. What was it? Was that in the Whoopie Pies? Surprise, it was in the Whoopie Pies. Oh, ah, those Whoopie Pies were great. Yeah. What'd you make the top of the Whoopie Pie? These Whoopie Pies were great. We had them for Easter. The patties of the Whoopie Pies were made out of what? Uh, they're like almond flour. It's like a... Um, a grain free sugar cookie, but okay. they're really soft. They're really like cakey. Okay, and then the whipping was what? Was the so delicious coconut cool whip. Okay, cool. All right, number yep. five. Number five? Yep. What did I say number five was gonna be? Do you have did you do sweet potatoes yet? Or the Oh, the the white. The white sweet potatoes. White sweet potatoes. White potatoes compared to sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes are better. Yes. Um and oftentimes you're, when we have like Thanksgiving or something, your yeah. mom will bring white potatoes for him. White potatoes for yeah. him. But a really great alternative is a white sweet potato. Yeah. So the 
visual of particular foods play a big yeah. role in our comfort with eating them. Yeah. So white sweet potatoes, he's eaten, he hasn't even known. It's my favorite game to play with dad. <laughs> Don't tell him, and then afterwards, see if he noticed the difference. Yeah. I've yeah. done it with, I do it with a lot of baked goods with him too, like gluten-free brownies. Yeah, and, and he hasn't noticed the difference. Yeah. What other ones? Gluten-free brownies, white potatoes you've done, anything else before we go? No, those no. are the those are my top sneaky food tricks. All right. Have a good one.